Okay, there are multiple ways of doing this. What I like to do is always make these top heavy, but what you could do is um, split this up. So you do it one plus the two plus the third plus the three eighths, and then just obviously one plus two is three, and then just focus on what the answer to that is. Um, I find it easier just to have one method for all the operations with mixed numbers. So we're going to make them top heavy. Now the way of doing that is you times the big number by the bottom, then add it to the top. Times the big number by the bottom and add it to the top. And that gets rid of the big number. So 1 times 3 is 3. Add to the top would be 4. And then keep the bottom the same. And the second fraction, 2 times the 8 is 16. Add it to the top would be 19 over 8. Now... Like we said uh, in our previous videos, uh, you need to make sure the bottom is the same number when you're adding. So to do that, I think it's going to be 24, so we have to make them both 24. So I'm going to times the first num uh, fraction, top and bottom, by 3. Uh, sorry, by 8, even. So 3 times 8, and times the top and bottom for the second fraction by 3. So that gives us uh, 32 over 24 plus, and then 19 times 3, I could do 20 times 3, which is 60, take away 3, which is 57, over 24. Now what I'm going to do here is add the tops uh, together and keep the bottom the same. So 30 plus 50 is 80. 2 plus 7 is 9, so it's 89 over 24. Now what might be useful is I just do a quick 24 times table, so 1 times 24 is 24, and 48, and then add 4 would be 52, 62, 72, and then add another 24 will be uh, well over 90, so I don't need to, oh, 7, 8, 9, yeah it will be. So 3 times 24 is 72. Now the reason I'm doing that is because I need to make this a mixed number. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find out how many 24s I can take away from 89, which is 3. And that would take away 72 from this number here. So how many have we got left over? Well, 89 take away 72 would be uh, 17 over 24. So my answer would be 3 and 17 over 24.